Yes, because yesterday, as I was reading, my earring was hitting the thing over and over. But back again with a little reading. Right now, I'm at Barnes and Nobles. <laughs> I tried to get them to sell my book, but they said they ain't doing all that right now. Hit them up on the corporate line. I'm just playing. They did say just hit them up on the corporate line. <laughs> but they aren't doing book signings because Corona. But I'm going to read um, two poems from my book. The first one is called Freedom. And it says, freedom to me, freedom to be, freedom to think, freedom to see, freedom to laugh, freedom to dance, freedom to not, freedom to can, freedom to know, freedom to pass, freedom to grow, freedom to pass, freedom to love, no freedom above, freedom to cry, freedom to fly, Freedom's on us, so for freedom, we'll die. And I wrote that poem. I have all the dates and times that I write my poems, because that's like a thing for me where I go and I put the date and the time, like as soon as I'm finished writing it, that's how I sign it. Like this little signature, Brittany Nicole Frizzell, I love you, and the date and the time. Um, and I wrote this poem in a time where I just felt really stuck and I felt like, you know, there was no hope. Like, there's no hope for freedom. Like, we'll never have freedom. We'll never be liberated. And I think that it really just, for me, helped me kind of solidify how I can practice freedom in my everyday life, how I can show that I am free and that I am working towards liberation in my everyday life. So shout out to that poem. Because it's a constant reminder that freedom is what we make it. We created ourselves. Fuck them motherfuckers kids in here <laughs> but I ain't too loud <laughs> the next poem is called is it my fault and it says what the fuck do you do when you have no one to talk to somebody tell me because recently I found myself in limbo trying not to say so because even if they all know I'll still be forced to let go feeling more than guilty in an overdose of empathy on top of my reality on top of my seven to three a lack of understanding yet still so demanding whether or not I'm falling counted on to keep revolving feeling like Sonya homecoming now I'm running from home tight terrified and alone heart covering in stone regardless of how I've grown my truth is still unknown trapped unable to roam ties have overgrown but love in no way gone but it's too much going on worse than a country song <laughs> while our country does us wrong we're fighting harder all along to allow ourselves to suffer and the name of this poem is is it my fault and the reason why i titled it is it my fault is because i just was really really feeling like lost i was really feeling like you know alone and lonely and i felt like um the reason why i was all these things was because of myself like i was holding myself back and i was stopping myself from being great and that shit is real <laughs> low-key it was my fault like it's not my fault that this country is messed up but it is my fault. So you know, yep I got you <laughs> so um yeah so uh what was I saying y'all what was I saying oh it is your fault <laughs> It is your fault when you sit there and you let the outside forces come in and fuck with your head. It is your fault. It is. It's unfortunate, but it is. And by it being your fault, that means that you have the power to change it. You have the power to flip the switch. So, I gotta go, as y'all can see. <laughs> but I appreciate y'all viewing and share if you like it. And buy the book, unlearntorelearn.us. Stay safe.